Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Let's spend a few moments with our Good Shepherd. And we read today from Psalm 37, verse 7. Be silent before the Lord. Wait patiently for him. Were your children or grandchildren satisfied with what they got for Christmas? Or were they expecting something else? Or were they just expecting more? Even as adults, we can struggle with Christmas wanting. Maybe you wanted your family to gather around you this Christmas, but because of the COVID restrictions, they couldn't. Or maybe you wanted peace and happiness in your family gathering, but squabbles erupted anyway. Or perhaps you wanted a simple Christmas, but it got out of hand yet again. One of the reasons we struggle with contentment is that we want to know why God allows certain things to happen. It upsets us that God doesn't offer an explanation, and so we become anxious and discontented with what's going on. Well, God doesn't owe us an explanation for anything. And really, for the most part, we wouldn't understand it anyway if he did give us an explanation, because we're looking at things from our temporal, our earthly point of view. We really won't understand why things happened until we get to heaven and we can look at it from a different and an eternal point of view. God isn't going to give you an explanation, but he will give you a test. He's testing you to see if you're going to let go of that control and, and learn to be content, whether he explains it or not. When I was a little kid, the only time my classroom in school was quiet was during a test. The teacher would say, no talking, pick up your pencils and start the test. And the only sound you could hear was the scraping of the pencil on the paper. Even the teacher was quiet. When God is silent in your life, it's not because he's a million miles off. It's because he's giving you a test. The teacher is always silent when the students are taking that test. But he, the teacher is always there if there is a question or a problem or a need. And God is like that teacher. He's silent, but he's there. When God is silent in your life, your faith is being tested. Will you let go of that control? Will you grab more tightly? Will you learn to be content? Remember the miracle that God worked in sending Jesus. That's proof we can hold on tightly. We pray. Gracious Lord, when you are silent, help me see that you are testing me. And as you test me, help me be content in your love. Amen. Well, my friends, thank you for joining me today. Now, with tomorrow being New Year's Eve and the next day being New Year's, there won't be a special meditation sent out. Rather, I invite you to watch our, uh, our New Year's Eve service that will be videotaped and then presented on our Facebook page or on our YouTube page. You can watch that either uh, on New Year's Eve night starting at 6 p.m. or any time then thereafter, including on New Year's Day. And may this message help you walk into a new year confidently that God is there with us. And even when he's silent, he's never left our side.